What's up guys? I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today we're going to be looking at Kid Omega, but let's take a quick look at this box. For the top of the box, there is a X-Men logo. For the front of the box, there is a 3D render of the Kid Omega figure. There is the X-Men symbol. For the right side of the box, there's a sick artwork of Kid Omega. At the bottom, there is Marvel Legends series. For the left side of the box, there is a 3D render of the Build-A-Figure Chode. If you guys want to, you can pause the video and read the figure's names that you have to get to build Chode. For the back of the box, there's another 3D render of Kid Omega, but now let's crack this thing open. For Kid Omega's accessories, he comes with an alternate set of hands, and I don't know why they didn't add a trigger finger on both of these hands. I literally don't know why he came with a gun, so why does he not have a trigger finger on at least one of these hands or both? He comes with his gun, of course. I like how the translucent pink looks on the gun. There's a bunch of sculpted detail throughout it. We have seen this gun in the past before. I forget what figure came with this gun, but I do know it is reused. I wish Hasbro for these circle things would have added like those small little circle things for the blast effects. I think that would have been cool if Hasbro would have done that. But let's take a closer look at Kid Omega. First thought outside of the box, I love this head sculpt. I think Hasbro did a good job. I think they nailed it on this head sculpt, but I just don't like the whole like puffy mouth thing. It looks like he's chewing bubble gum or he's about to like make a bubble with bubble gum. Other than that, I think Hasbro killed the head sculpt. They did an awesome job on the paint applications on the eyebrows, the eyes, the lips. I like how Hasbro did like a glowing effect on the glasses, how it's like a darker pink up top and bottom, then it's like a clear pink tint on the side in the middle area. I like how that looks and it is a rubbery material. For the hair, it reminds me of cake frosting. I don't know why, maybe it's because of the lines in the hair. I like the hair sculpt. I think the hair sculpt is new correct me if i am wrong i think the whole head sculpt is new correct me if i am wrong for omega's body or kid omega's body not just omega kid omega's body he is reusing the first appearance spider-man body mold correct me if i am wrong in the comment section but i don't think we have ever got this spider-man body on a different figure other than a other spider-man figure i think this is the first time we have gotten this body mold on a different figure other than a spider-man figure one thing i wish hasbro would have changed with this body is fill in the holes on the inner bicep area where the web effect or web piece plugged into the hole on the inner bicep but that doesn't bother me because his arm is probably mostly going to be facing the ground, and plus it's in the inner bicep area, so it's not as noticeable if it was like on the outside or like on the shoulder or something, but since it's like on the inner bicep area, it doesn't really bother me. The pink paint applications on the front torso piece looks awesome. I think Hasbro killed it. That looks good. For the left arm... That looks good as well, all the way down to the V-shape. That looks awesome. For this right arm, it looks good, but it's not as good as the left one. There's some, like, extra pink paint on the black area of the shoulder where it's not supposed to be. The bicep area looks awesome. For some reason, on my figure, I don't know if you guys can see it. Okay, you guys should be able to see it, but there's, like, this weird marbling stuff happening on the like side bicep area in the front right there you can really see it i don't know what is up with that you can kind of see it's on the pink area as well that's weird i don't think that's a part of that that looks like the mold of the figure's arm was like it was molded together but down to the v-shape the pink looks awesome other than that little spot where the black paint is on top of the pink. Doesn't really bother me. 
for the black paint for like the glove look that looks awesome on the left hand but for the right hand not so much it's not as good as the left and one thing i noticed with the left and right hand is on the right hand the line for the fingers is a little bit better than the left one there's not so much of a line for the fingers for the back of omega the pink looks awesome on the back couldn't ask for a better paint job and i like how hasbro painted the pink lines all the way up into the back of the diary frame i love when they do that they also did it for the front as well i love when hasbro does that for the left rib area the pink paint looks awesome couldn't ask for a better paint job there's no like scratches or some pink paint on the black area of the rib where it shouldn't be for the right area of the rib it's not as good as the left side there's whatever that is i don't know what that is i don't know what's going on right there it kind of looks like where the plastic was like molded or something there's a scratch right there. Other than those little two things, it looks good. And for the bottom of his feet, he has pigles. And for looking at Kid Omega, for Kid Omega's articulation, he looks up a good amount, looks pretty far down, has a good amount of head tilt, head does a basic 360. For the arms, the arms do a basic 360 as well. Arms go a good amount out. Basic bicep swivel. Butterfly joint goes that far back. That far forward. He has double jointed elbows. For the hands, basic hand swivel. Hands go that far in. They go that far out. For the diaphragm, it tilts that far to the right. Tilts that far to the left. Tilts that far forward. And tilts that far back. Also has waist swivel. For the ab crunch, it goes that far forward. Goes that far back. For the legs, they kick that far forward. They kick not that far back. For the splits, he does a pretty dang good split. That's pretty dang good. For the thighs, thigh swivel. He has double jointed knees. If I can get this bottom one to go. Can he touch his butt? Almost. He can almost touch his butt. He has calf swivel. For the feet, they go that far down, that far up. And he has feet side to side, if I can get it to move. Come on. There we go. Feet side to side. And that is it for Kid Omega's articulation. Here is the other figures from the Build-A-Figure Chode Wave, which is Emma Frost. Fang and Cyclops next to Kid Omega. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this review today. I would appreciate it if you guys hit the big red thumbs up button. Comment down below what figures you guys would want me to review next, and also comment down below what do you guys think about this Kid Omega figure, and will you guys be picking it up, or will you guys be passing on it? But stay tuned for the next review.